What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Hustle Q, man. Top of the morning, man. Anyway, I um, want to uh, do a real quick video to give you guys an update on the gift card giveaway. Plus, I want to tell you what happened at Goodwill Norco or Norco Goodwill, man. Very disappointed, man. But I guess these things happen. I'm just finding out for myself. Didn't ever think something like this would happen. Now I feel like it's happening everywhere. Anyway, let's get into the video, man. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, before we get started, man, smash that like button and um, subscribe. Our YouTube, so we're back. Um, basically, want to start with an update with the gift card giveaway. The only thing I ask you guys is to subscribe. It's pretty much free. And if you hit that notifica uh, notification button, you know, and just click on it, that way you'll be notified on the updates and anything else I got going on. Appreciate the new subscribers jumping on. Um, we will be doing the giveaway Sunday, uh, maybe like Sunday evening or so. But I will announce the winners. Going to be two winners. And um, I appreciate all the love and support. But real quick, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you smash the like button on that video. I appreciate it. Um, other than that, man, it's going to be a beautiful thing. I got so much response back on this video, and um, I was almost ready to do a gift card giveaway every single week. But then again, that might be too much for me. I don't know, man, because it'd be a lot of names, you know, and I'm, I'm writing everything down by hand. But anyway, that's the update. Make sure you are a subscriber because I do have to check. It's for subscribers only. And you know what? Everybody should subscribe because it doesn't really hurt, man. It's just a click of the button like that, you know. It's real simple. You should try it. So anyway, oh, smash the like button. So um, that's the update for that one. And um, I do apologize for not doing a Hated Win Wednesday. Um, I had a t-shirt order to do and a bunch of other stuff I got involved in. I'm trying to get going and everything like that. So I will resume next Wednesday reading everybody's comment and going from there. Now, um, I went thrifting on thursday which was a dollar day and the white tag was 50 percent off but on thursday it's a dollar so now what i normally do is as i go to the post office in norco the goodwill's next door so i go to the post office and i go to the goodwill and i'm always eyeing things unless i see something i want to buy right away or let me see if it'll be here on thursday one of the things i looked at was this item but before we get into that, let me show you what I end up getting and not wanting. But anyway, I'm trying new stuff out, man. Okay, look, let's just get into it real quick. Um, I did pick up this mug. It was on a white tag, so it was a dollar. And uh, California Republican, and the reason why I got it, because like anybody can put a sticker on a mug and make it California Republic, right? But um, this was actually got a little trademark sticker on it or something. It makes it look some more original. And I did see some comps on here, maybe about 10 bucks. It was a dollar. So I went on and grabbed it, you know. Um, and you're going to see why I just went on and grabbed what I grabbed. Now, I s stepped into another zone. And normally, I don't do this. But this caught my eye. Um, it was a napkin holder. And it's on a white tag as well. It's a napkin holder by J Imports. Okay, see that? So... This caught my eye and I decided, let me go ahead and look it up. So as I looked it up and it had comps on here for like 10, 15 bucks or so just for this, right? Um, don't know if it was vintage or not, but it did have some good comps on it. So I was like, a dollar? Sure, I, I'll mess with it, right? As I'm looking around, I see this one. Now, these got the same designs, sort of, but I noticed this is at the bottom. Like, hold on, let me turn it around. This design got on. Uh, this design is on the bottom part, and this one isn't, but it's on the top part. And this one is by um, Corel Coordinates Stoneware. This is also made in China along with this one. Okay, see that name brand right there? So I looked it up, and this had the same name brand as this one, but it wasn't printed on here. But it seems that they could go together. So I looked at the comps on just a bowl like this, man, and there was some good comps on this one. Then I saw the salt and pepper shakers. Boom. Oh, let me turn that around. And there's a white tag on there. That was a dollar. It's all the salt and pepper shakers, but no writing on it. But I did find some exactly like this. And they put Corel on it. And hopefully I'm just saying that name right. They did put Corel on it like that. So I went on and grabbed those. And then I saw this. And why they do this, I don't know, man. This is so dangerous. I got these three cups and they got them zip tied together. So I almost broke one of the some glass because they had them zip tied and because I grabbed like I grabbed one and the rest came with me. And all you hear is like click clack click clack and I'm like anyway. So the only thing about these right here, one of them, let me see if I can show you. 
of them says Corel and the other one says Corin or something like that. But these top two are made in USA and this one is made in um, Taiwan, that bottom one. But when I saw comps on it and they showed the back of them, they all said Corel. So I don't know. I think I'm going to put them all together and go from there. And then I end up picking up another set. Same ones like that. And these are a dollar. All, all three of these cups were a dollar. And then all three of these cups were a dollar. So I end up totaling paying $6 for that set. And then a dollar for this one. No, no. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, end up paying $6 for everything. So now normally I wouldn't mess with this because it's a glass and it's kind of difficult. But I seen comps on these stuff lot it together going for about 40 50 maybe 30 less no no less than 30 dollars it was like 35 dollars and up for all this this whole set um i believe someone put vintage on it i do have to do some further investigation on it so that was the only thing i picked up okay now normally i would have walked out very upset and here's a story let's get into it <clears throat> so check it out i walked into goodwill on a monday and the one thing I was looking around, I only saw mostly green tags and blue tags. And the white tag was the week, weekly tag color. And it was 50% off. So I knew Thursday is going to be a dollar. So let me scope out any white tags. I kind of went through the clothes a little bit, really didn't find much. So I'm in the hard good area and I see this double cassette player with the record player stereo. And then the two speakers that goes with it. Now, excuse me, sorry, had coffee food and everything so anyway the one thing that caught my mind was that the stereo had a white tag on it and the speakers had a white tag so they're white tag. so i'm eyeing this right but it was crazy because i feel like no one's gonna buy this yet because even though it's 50 percent off but the stereo itself was about 60 bucks and then they separated speakers they put speaker tags on the speakers so they were like 30 bucks each or 40 bucks each didn't make sense so they wanted like over a hundred dollars for all this right so i was like okay whatever i'm gonna come back I came back Tuesday, it was still there. I didn't go back Wednesday. Now, no, I've been eyeing this. It's a white tag. I'm waiting for this. Planning on Thursday morning, getting up there, standing in line like nine o'clock. Well, got a few things that had a lot, had some things to ship out. It kind of helped me up. Um, went over there about 10 05. There was a line, people were going in. So I went to the post office, dropped my stuff off, came back, and there was no line. I went inside. They did the safety thing all over for me again. You know, it's cool. Went in there and I saw it from a distance. It was still there. And I'm like, holy crap. No baskets. So I'm saying, I'm about to carry all this, right? Get over there, man. And I see why it was still there. It had a green tag on it. They switched the tags. And it was very disappointing that they switched the tags on me. And I didn't appreciate that, man. Um, Last thing, last time I heard, the owner of Goodwill is bringing in over twelve million a year, and for them to switch the tags, I wonder if he even knows about it. But they switched the tag from a white tag to a green tag. I know for a fact it was white because I've been eyeing it for two days straight to see it because I was gonna go after it. I kind of figured it wasn't gonna be there because I was getting there late on Thursday, but I figured let me just go in there anyway and take a chance, and it was there. The reason why it was there because it has a green tag on it now and a green tag ain't up for who knows for another week or two um felt that was kind of wrong and i didn't appreciate that dude that's not right that's not right that to me that's being greedy you know what i'm saying that's being real greedy um they're getting donations they're getting all the stuff in for free you know what i'm saying so it is whatever i was really disappointed in the goodwill i will go back I will go back and next time i'm going to take pictures because i didn't think i needed to take pictures you know but i'm going to take pictures man but other than that, man, that was very disturbing, very disappointed. It makes me feel like that goes on, that's been going on, and I don't know, man. And then, check this out. Someone donated a whole Batman figure. Um, they donated a, like a five-inch, four-inch Batman statue-like with a whole bunch of his toys and everything. They got it on the center floor. They got the Batman price at 250 bucks. I'm going to try to find the picture. The guy said these things don't exist no more. This was the guy telling me at the door. Because I asked the guy, I said, who prices your stuff? And he said, oh, the people in the back do, man. But I said, dude, the Batman, 250 bucks? Really? Like that. And he said, dude, that Batman, you can't even find nowhere. Now, we got to talking, find out that he's telling the boss man to start looking up on eBay on how to price everything. And I was just like, 
bro, whose side are you on? You know what I'm saying? But he said, yeah, that's how we do it, man. We look up on eBay and that's how we price everything. And I'm just thinking like, wow, dude. <sighs> Got me thinking, man. Anyway, um, so that's it right there. That's it for the video. Very disappointed with Goodwill, man. You're going to switch the price on us or switch the tags on us <clears throat> because it didn't sell the way you want it to sell. And it sucks, man. You know, I... I it is what it is, man. Very disappointed. If this ever happened to you, man, drop a comment below. Let me know, man. Other than that, man, make sure you smash the like button. It's your boy, Hustle Q, and I'm out. Very disturbed. Peace.